Hey everyone, John Capobianco here. If I sound excited and look excited and amped up, it's because I am. I just got A to A, agent to agent, the new protocol from Google, working over the public internet. On this PC that we're talking about, that I'm talking to you on, I have an agent one that's exposed to the public internet. On this little Mac over here, I have agent two. I've connected the two over the internet. They're discovering each other. So what am I talking about? What is agent to agent? John, like, I, I, what are you even talking about? So this is my conceptual view. So I have this agent in, in Langraph. And this is, let's give this a number, agent, whoops, uh, agent one. This is agent one. An agent one is a selector agent. It has access to the selector tools. For now, I've removed all these other tools. This agent is for a selector MCP. Now, if I slide over, I sort of have a similar starting diagram over here, where I have agent two with agent two's tools and um, you know a similar view. So now, over the public internet, I have the A to A protocol. So in my case, I've stripped down my selector agent, which is agent two, and agent one has things like email and NIST and a bunch of other things. So this is the A to A protocol. And one thing I wanna highlight here is A to A and MCP. A to A, heart MCP. Too long, didn't read. Agentic applications need both A to A and MCP. We recommend MCP for tools. You've seen me do all kinds of coverage on MCP for tools. And now A to A for agents. And I believe they connect like this. Kind of like a layer two, layer three, layer two, MCP, layer three, A to A. Not competing standards. All right, this is the GitHub repository everything you need and we're going to be looking at the CLI client here in a second so under samples Python hosts CLI we're going to run this CLI to interact with our agents here's agent 2 no agent 1 and I should rename this hang on a second yeah I, I have to fix this up so I'm going to stop the video and, and make a little correction I don't have the right name here um, I'll fix that. But let's come back. So I have the two agent cards exposed to the internet. And now we're going to go ahead and do some MCP work. I apologize for the mistake. I do need to correct it before we proceed, but I'll be right back. Okay, let's have some fun. I've made the little correction and uh, let's see how this agent to agent pans out. So again, we have the Cisco Pi ETS agent and the selector agent. Now, unfortunately, the DevNet sandbox is down. However, in this, if we look at skills, it has tools like email and web searching and NIST. And I've left this as a complete agent with full of MCPs. You know, my goal is probably now that I figured out A to A, have a Pi TS dedicated agent a selector dedicated agent, and then maybe a toolkit generated uh, agent where you have email and some of the other tools, right? More purpose-driven agents as opposed to these kind of catch-all agents full of MCPs. But check this out. All right, so we're going to send a curl, which is a post to agent one. And in the body, I'm going to send a message to agent two's URL saying hello from agent one, what is your name and capabilities? I'm gonna press enter. Now what's really neat is over here in the logs, um, in the A to A adapter, I can see that call from that agent to agent. So we should get a response any second now from agent two. And if I go to my actual land graph over here, okay, there's the response. And, hello, I'm an AI assistant designed to help with a wide range of, range of tasks, particularly in the realm of computer networking at the CCIE level, network diagnostics, automating GitHub workflows. So this is the 
right? What what I now I should be rewriting this a little bit to be just for selector, right? Remember, I'm learning as I go, and I I had stuffed all these MCPs full of other MCPs, but now that I can understand that they're agent to agent, I may unpack some of the MCPs that I've included. So let's switch over to the interactive client here. And I'm going to say UV run um, dash da, uh, CLI dash dash agent. And let's use the NGROC agent. Agent one. All right. It's failed to spawn CLI. Am I not in the right folder? Or maybe do uh, my what am I doing wrong here? Uh, sorry about this. Hang on, I'm getting the UV run CLI UV LS. Here we go. Let me try that again from this folder. I think I was too deep. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so um, what do you want to send the agent? Now let's try to do agent to agent. So we're going to say, could you ask selector? Now ask selector is not part of this agent one. Uh, it doesn't have, if I show you the containers here, there is no selector container. And if I go into the logs of the discovered tools here's the discovered tools here there is no selector tool but this is the agent I'm interfacing with so let's see if we can get the agent to ask the other agent to run this could you ask selector the device health for device s3 and send an email report to John Capobianco at pt at gmail.com. Now, agent two has asked selector. Agent one has the email capability. Oh, weird. What's happening here? Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. We're going to use the client. And we're going to say, can you please ask selector the health of device S3 and then send an email report to John at, okay, um, please use all of the available tools from all of the available agents. Let's try it. Okay, so let's see what we see in the logs. Oh my goodness. It's going to delegate. That's what it's saying. Hang on, where did that go? All right. To proceed with your request, I need to delegate the task of checking the house to a peer agent. Could you provide the URL of the peer agent? Uh, you should have... Uh, all right, let's just give it the address of the peer agent. I'll try to fix that through prompt engineering. Um, but let's go ahead and say, okay, you should have access to the peer agent on did you not discover them
Uh, sorry, I'm just lost here. I don't mean to go quiet. Um, holy cow, hang on. Hang on. I think I see it on this agent. The log. Ho hang on. Here's the health check. Here's the summary. I have sent an email. There's my email. Okay, so the email's not great because this agent fired first, but that's not the important thing here. The important thing here is that I have logs over here from the agent over here that went ahead and reached across and used the tool from agent two, right? So if I go back to my Excalibur draw, this has been achieved. So let me start maybe with a fresh drawing over here. Right, so I have, uh, I have two agents. I have my black agent and my blue agent. This one has, let's just call this selector plus, or the selector agent. And this one is the PyETS agent. Let's just say email agent for now until I get the sandbox up and below these if we draw a line each of these has their own lang graph and tools right so they have their own lang graph and tools in the form of MCPs Right, so these are MCP. This is my Lang graph. And now we have agent to agent across the World Wide Web, this cloud. Right? And as I said, these agents can start to talk to other agents, and we start to build this hyper-connected internet of agents. So, really exciting. Really exciting. Ask a question of agent one. I don't have the tools. Agent two has the tools. You go ahead and do the thing. Pass the data back. I'll go ahead and do my thing. Here's the answer to the user. At an agent level, down into the MCP level. This is really exciting. 